Well, hello there, Shelly Rocks here. Welcome to Soda Dungeon 2. This is by Armor Games, as you've seen. And uh, this is a, a sequel to a game which was out a couple of years ago. And this has got uh, all new stuff in it. It's a new adventure, a whole town to upgrade. You can craft uh, items. There's new classes, alternative dimensions and more. So this is what I'd class as, I guess, a um, an idle game with some interaction. But you can play it manually as well. So yeah, we're gonna dive into it and show you some of the game. Right. So this is as you can see, this is a pre-lease Soda Dungeon 2 on Android. And I'm gonna create a new, totally new save and show you it all. So in a dungeon far away, a group of soda-fueled adventurers make their last stand. We're almost here. Yeah, and we don't stand a chance. Look, we have to try. Try? Just try and stop me. Okay, tap directly on the enemy to attack them. So, if you've not played this game before, you control a team of people and I get to click on things and attack. So there you go, I'm gonna attack you in the face and I'm gonna attack you in the face and we're gonna get the big angry cauldron and beat that, there you go. Oh yeah, you ready for this evil guy? Why do we bring him along again? <laughs> we, we didn't have much of a choice. Everyone's gone, just us. I know, I know. Right, who are we gonna go for first? I'm gonna go for these first. I don't like the look of these. Get these. Come on. Get them. Get them. Back attack. Well, here we are, friends. Standing before the self-proclaimed darkest of all lords. Face as you coward. Mm -hmm. This is a privilege you haven't earned. What you have earned, however, is a front row seat to your own destruction. I wish I could say you inconvenienced my plan, but you don't even know what you're fighting against. You're inconsequential. Goodbye to this dimension. This is the part where it goes wrong. Okay, we're gonna take a trip now. We're gonna go back to the start. So everything we worked for is destroyed and we have to start again. Ugh. Okay, there's the uh, the tavern keeper. Well then, I suppose that's that. No more soda, no more adventurers. Sorry you had to see that friend. Listen, the wizard gave me this trinket. He said you could take it. Okay, so we, we're gonna touch the trinket and we're gonna start again, so. Let's touch it and start again. Where will you open your eyes? You stand in a town that is strange but familiar, familiar, not sure how you arrived. Welcome to Soda Dungeon! It sounds like an interesting conversation is happening in the tavern. Right, so this has got quests. I've got to speak to the tavern owner. Let's go. Right, so this is the tavern. That's right, as much as you can drink. Yeah, oh yeah, let me at him. So the junkie has joined the party. Oh, hello, stranger. Mind watching over our friend here. See, he earns, he earns some coin in that dungeon. You might be able to earn some yourself. So this is the tavern where you get people, and now I'm going to go and do a quest. So we'll accept it. Click up here. Click start. And then we attack. Right. That's her health and magic. So if we keep attacking this. Oh, yeah. Give me that gold. So we're just going to keep on attacking. Too easy. There's my gold down there. Gold, these are dungeon keys, and I don't know what that is. I think it's like a is it like a potion or something? I've not actually used that yet. Alright, sc scary skeleton. Let's keep attacking you. Nice. Wait a second, that didn't feel good. Alright, let's uh, go for the rat first. Oh no. We're a bit outnumbered. I think we should be okay. Oh, this is gonna be close. I'm unstoppable, right? Your health is low, that's okay. Defeat's just part of the process. Okay, here's the boss. How are we gonna do with this? Okay. We died, but we ran away. This is not a sustainable lifestyle for a family man with an avid lover of soda. I quit. So when you have all... Where did I leave my pants? <laughs> when you lose all your health, you actually just run off. Your party's been wiped out. Your fighter left all his loot behind. Grab it and head back to the tavern. Okay, so we're going back to the tavern. Okay, here we go. Back into the tavern. Let's talk to the tavern keeper. Hmm, no bad. You might just be the person I need to manage these adventurers. Let's try giving our friends some basic equipment. Looting the dungeon is key to better items. This will do for now. So we're going to get some stuff. There we go. We've got a, a, a bottle and a bar stool. Let's, let's click on this as well. These are the objectives. When you've claimed them, you can claim them and get gold. There you go. 15 gold. Let's go and do... Oh yeah, we need to hire you now. Free. 
Characters will be able to equip the best items. And you can turn that on and off in the options. Which I guess is down here. Let me have a little auto equip on or off. There you go. Okay, let's go and do another battle. And you can hire up to six members. All right, one thing you can do, you can press this auto on. And that will automatically fight for you. So there's some uh, times you wouldn't want to do that, have that turned on. So when you're fighting in these dungeons, there is a bit where you get to where there's a, like a mining bit. And if you have auto turned on, you, will, uh, you won't get to really mine properly. So you can flick it on and off. But as you can see, this is so early and I'm just like, you really do suck at the start. But we've just got a wooden sword now, so we should be a little bit more powerful. Let's talk to him again. We need to fix this place up a bit. We need to stop the right sodas to attract new customers and make sure they've got a place to sit to. So we've got to buy a stool and buy a hammering ale. So we'll accept this. Let me accept my quest. Okay, no, we're not. We're going to do upgrades. I'm going to buy a stool. So stools are worth patrons. You can have up to 10 stools. And each stool has a 30% chance of attracting a, pe a, a person to join you on the quest. Schools and tables offer more places to sit, meaning more party members to cho choose from. Okay, and then sodas. These are things that you buy. And they're basically, if you buy a different soda, you attract a different a a adventurer. So... If I buy this one, I'm going to get a carpenter or a chance to get a carpenter. Okay, so if we come out of this, complete this because we've got some free gold. And now we know about these upgrades. So let's go to the upgrades again. I'm going to buy two of those stool upgrades. And I'm going to come back to this. I'm going to hire you because you're free. And then we're going to fight. Now we should have a sword now, if you remember. We got a sword last time. That's auto. So now we're hitting higher damage. So we're going to get further in the dungeon. Oh, yeah. Now, I think it's the I think it's the level after this one we want to keep an eye on. There you go. He's actually doing uh, healing abilities now as well. Let's turn that off for a second. Okay, we found some ore. Harvesting ore deposits is optional, but may produce project precious crafting materials. So what you have to do... It's easy if you, if you kill that, if I kill that one, and I need to mine this. Now, the thing is, it takes five hits to mine this, so if I keep trying to do this, I'm not going to be able to get it done in time. See? Dead. So that's where you do need to get more people to join you and get a little bit further. So hopefully we're going to get more people at the bar now. Okay, we've got someone new here. Greetings! I was passing through the area, had a little chat with the tavern owner. It sounds like my skill set could come in handy for you. Tell you what, I'll set, up, I'll set up shop and I can build anything I need. So we need to build a carpenter shop. And with this, we can build other buildings. So you go and click this. For being a good sport, I'm going to throw in a mailbox for you. Okay, so we've got a mailbox. Got some free gold in this. There you go. Close that. Let's claim this because we're going to get more free gold. So we can buy different buildings in here. Now, we don't really have much choice of what to buy at the start. So we need 5k for that, 10 planks and that. Ugh, it's going to take forever. Blacksmith, we need 100 gold and 5 uh, of the ore. So we need more people. But look, we have more people. So we've got 49 gold. These ones generally are free to hire. These ones are a little bit more expensive. So they're 10. But we've got 39 gold free. So if we go to upgrades, get that upgrade. Now we should be able to go further in the dungeon. So let us go into adventure. Stick auto on because it's easy at the start. And you can just sit back and watch them do this. So this is the idle part of it where you're just letting them do stuff and just sitting back and waiting. And we know ore is coming up after this battle. So if we get rid of that spider. Now with three of us, we should be able to uh, get the this ore. So we needed five. There we go. We've got some. Back to attacking. Put it back on auto. And let's see how far we can get. Because the further we get, the more gold we get. Okay, I've got to fight this thing. That is a big, big angry dragon. 
Uh, ow. Luckily he's healed himself up. Come on. Get him. Get him. Nice. We have defeated him. Let's turn auto off for a second. So we get a chest for defeating a boss at the end. You can choose which one you want. I'm going to go for that one. We've got a bit of gold. Nice. And we've got a fork in the road, so you can choose one of three directions. And there's also sometimes parts of locks you can use a key. We've not got one now. Uh, alternative paths can contain traps or treasures. If you're not feeling brave, stay on the current path. Um, let's choose the right-hand one. This is normally good or bad. It's generally always bad, though. It's going to do negative traits on me, which is setting me on fire. Okay, we're down to one person. Oh, we're getting licked to death. That is not good. But as you're playing it, as you can see, look, you do, do start leveling up characters. And we're getting all this delicious weapons now. So these are the sort of things we want. Okay, ad is over. Let's us go back into this. So what else? This dungeon seems to be filled with a lot of raw materials. Pelts, ores, monster parts, and so on. We need to find someone who can work with these resources. Take this steel, pay the carpenter shop, and see if it's enough to get a blacksmith. So we can actually go and get a blacksmith now. So it's this one. No, it's this one. Provide a place to purchase and craft items. So we're going to buy that and build it. Click on this. Oh, ho, in the market for some crafting, are you? I can help you with that. This forge is a bit modest. It'll do for now. Invest some spare coins, though, as I'll be able to craft exotic wares. Suppose I should show you the basics, then. So let's go into crafting. Mind you, it's not that hard now. Choose your recipe on the left. Make sure you can cough up the goods on the right. Toss a few coins and then you've got yourself an item of the finest form and make. Now then, what's your first order? So I can't really make anything at the start. You can see the requirements for all these over here. There's there's, there's a lot. We can make bars and all sorts of stuff. Um, I can cut stone. I can, so for instance, I can make leather. So it'll cost me five gold and a little bit of... What is that? I think that's like a, a fur. We just made one and unlocked a little bit then. Now, what do we need the leather for? So, like, leather's for that there, that leather, this common armor. I need that, though, which is a silver bar. We've not collected any silver yet, so, yeah, we're not making that. Okay, let's collect my reward. We've got another mail. Okay, misunderstanding from the Dark Lord. This feels awkward. I believe you may have stumbled into my dungeon. Not a huge deal. It's definitely private property. Okay, let's talk to him. Right, I've been making good progress in the dungeon. Let's keep it up. Excellent. So we've actually got some stuff now to craft. So if we come back into here... Oh, and don't forget, I keep a selection of items and resources too. My shop might have the last crafting item you need. Okay, I want to... I want to... wants me to buy something. I don't want to buy anything at the moment. I want to craft something. So we've got this leather armor here. Oh, it's an iron bar we need. So if we craft that... Then we come to this. We should be able to make this leather armor now. And then hopefully when we go and fight, we'll use this new armor. This is going to be the most people we've ever had. Now, one thing I should say is when you start in the, um, the dungeon later on, you can actually appear at warp points later on at different points. But at the moment, we're just starting from level one every single time. But you can see we've already got the um oh look at this we've already got the uh the armor on here so sometimes it's better to start from the start anyway because you can like level up your uh your people but later on you don't want to start off on level one when you've got up to like level 100. Ooh, painful nice so now we've got more people this is much easier you should start seeing my gold going up pretty nicely Okay, we're going to get a treasure chest. What are we going to get? Gold. Choose a path. Let's go for the middle path. Ooh, warp. Interesting. Wow, we've warped to level 22. That's kind of scary. We are completely out of, out of our depth now. Okay, let's get these healed up. Yeah, I think, I think these are a lot higher level than us now, so we are not doing an awful lot of damage. 22 gold, though, for that one. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. 
We can't even take... Oh, we did take the rat down. Doors. Oh, he's confused me. Come on. Let's take down that fly. Oh, is it, do is it dudes? Come on, it's two on two. No, it's not. It's two on one. Ah, oh, defeated. Hey, well, at least we leveled on a little bit. And we got uh, a couple of uh, extra achievements there. Leveled up the carpenter. Nice, that's the furthest I've ever been. Now, let us see what he's got to say for himself. So, you're doing great, pal. Now, I don't want to step on any toes here. At this rate, I think you need a wizard. They can warp you into areas of dungeons you've already visited. In fact, I don't think you'll be able to make it much further without one. Pay a visit to our friend over at the carpenter shop. So we'll accept that. I'm going to claim this as well. Let's go to the carpenters, which is this one. So we need to build a wizard's hut, which is this one. 200 gold. Luckily, we've got enough to build it, so we'll build that. I'm going to talk to Gandalf. I mean, a wizard. Oh, yes, it's true. I can transport physical matter to new locations. Not the most clever use of my power. Wizardry isn't exactly in demand these days. My advice, don't get too wrapped up in this dungeon. Greed is a slippery slope. Right, so we can warp and we can warp to a different location but i'm gonna claim this i'm gonna pick my people come back over here right so we know these these are all free to get so let's get a party full of these and you as well now you gotta remember as well you need to keep buying your soda so if we get 150 we can get our next one which is the minor one which will give us believe it or not the minor ability but the miner. So if I go to this one now, I can warp. I can ch I can just carry on where I started before. So yeah, let's just do a go and start right off in the middle of the dungeon. Right, here we go. Right, so if we do this now, healing fairy. So all my people should get healed up now. There you go. Hit points and magic restored. So now we should be able to get even more gold. I mean, it's more about leveling up your characters at the start, I think, because we, we just, like, hit, like, as though it's a twig. Come on. Just need to try and even up the numbers a little bit. And we are using all the magic points as well when they're auto-doing auto doing this by uh, healing, so... Although you can heal, it's you get to a point where you've run out of magic and you can't heal anymore. Okay, well, fact, this is a new one. Not fought this one before. That's the carpenter ability. <sighs> Ooh. Yeah, that, that hit hard. Now, if we can defeat this, we'll be able to start from this level from future. Level 30. Ow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, you defeated it. Get wrecked. Nice. One hit point left. Right, let's choose the left one. More gold. Nice. We are going to get wrecked first attack now. There we go. Okay, so we've leveled up. Soda Junkie's leveled up. Looks like the Carpenter's leveled up as well. 400 gold. That is nice. So let's see what he's got to say for now. Rumour has it this dungeon contains a kitchen. Stop beyond all measure. Perhaps we can poach a few ingredients for our own meals. So we've got to complete the dungeon on level 40. And that's our next quest. Okay, quick follow-up. Hello, could you confirm you received my last letter? Maybe check the spam folder. I don't know what you... I don't want to jump to conclusions. It looks like you guys are coming into the dungeon. Could you please stay out? Thanks again. <laughs> now, we have got the ability now to upgrade our, our... Actually, we'll upgrade the soda. So, if we upgrade the soda, we can get... Well, we can get both. I can get the miner... All right, I'll tell you what, we'll get the mine. I'll show you that. So if we get the mine there, and I'll do the upgrade in here. So I want to get a few more chairs. If we get this bench as well, each table has a 50% chance of attracting a patron. So I'm going to get a few of them. When I was saying about turning the auto on or off, if you don't turn the auto off, watch the fight, this next fight, see what happens. We're not going to mine this resource, watch. See, we'll skip that completely. 
We got a key. Okay. All right, so we got a buckler. That's nice. Okay. Fighting the old Medusa again. She can turn me to stone. That's no good. Actually, I think this is the first time we fought Medusa because we skipped past, didn't we, before? Ow. Should be able to get... Um, if we beat her, we should be able to get a chest again, though. It's turning everyone to stone. But luckily, defeated. Now let's see what goodies we get from this. Let's try the right one this time. Wood. Okay, we're getting <laughs> we're getting wrecked. Uh back. But again, it's not it's not all bad because we've just leveled up a little bit. There you go. Leveled up a couple of my characters, more magic points, which means we're gonna get a little bit further again. Now we have got quite a lot of resources now, so we might be able to like craft something. Let's have a little look. So we've got an iron sword we can make now. 30% crit chance for 35 damage. We've got some bone mail armor, which that's pretty good actually. Should I make one of them? Yeah, let's make one of those. We've got um, some rings as well. I could do an iron ring. That's going to give me three hit points, two damage, I think that is. I don't know what that one is, though. We can make an iron sword, though. Let's make one of those. I've actually got the miner now. Nice. Right, we'll show you the miner then. So, all right, next up. So... Let's whack that uh, ore. Take down the uh, beastie as well. So the mine normally... Let me see. Let's uh, heal up someone. The mine normally hits more damage. Ooh, iron shield. So that's, that's, that's a pretty uh, decent find. That is going to help us a lot. Okay, uh, I've not got a key, so let's just go for middle. A oh, warp. Okay, we've warped past the boss, which is interesting. Oh, one. There's only me and the miner left. And we got wasted. The miner's leveled up, though. Level two now. And that is the furthest we have been. Wow, that was cool. So, as you can see, this is so the Dungeon 2. There's a lot of um, repeating yourself, but it, it is good, the fact that you can go and upgrade. So, for instance, I can go in this now, and I can go and I could get, like, a, what's that one? The bed upgrade. Beds allow you to refresh your selection, or I could go and get a new soda. We, we can get that one, which is the nurse one. We get a chance to get a nurse to come and join us. So you can customise all your stuff. I think you can customize your... I wonder if you can customize your players. Because I'm pretty sure there is an, an ability... Oh, look at this. Claim that. Yes, we've got, we've got a uh, iron vest or something then. That's pretty cool. All sorts of stuff here, though. Look, characters. You can customize these as well. So if I customize him, I can change the color of his eyes. Let's see. So I want, like, green eyes. Nice. Customize his hair. Pretty cool. Accessories are all locked at the moment. Uh, I can change. We well, can you can change pretty much all of them, so I could like change his hat and stuff later on. Pretty cool. But anyway, this has been Soda Dungeon Two. Let me know what you think of it in the comments box below. Thank you for watching. See you next time.